today and today is the best day to be awake and present and all those good things because it's today and it's more useful today than it is tomorrow or yesterday because it's today. You came here because you're not awake and present and you might need to find a way of dealing with that. If you're like me, you're going to automatically reach for the caffeine because, well, because it works. But there are other options that we all know are probably better for you. So what is the best plan B? While we always like to pretend that we have pristine sleep habits alongside pristine study habits, and it just all works together so perfectly well, in reality, this is usually a lie. It might be more often than usually. This never actually happens because life happens. And that's okay. You can't be perfect all the time. There will be times when you'll have to be up late studying and have to be awake first thing the next morning, fully functioning. It's just the reality of being a student. And while I know it's tempting to just reach for caffeine because it does solve a lot of problems in the moment, it is not the best option. So before you start chugging down on the coffee, try this one. Unleash the powers of cold water. Whenever you and your brain are running on empty, instead of instantly reaching for the caffeine or sugar, reach for cold water instead. Wash your face with cold water. Take a cold shower. Drink a tall glass of water. Suck on an ice cube. Put an ice pack on the back of your neck or ankles, with a towel of course. The cold feeling can sometimes wake you up more than a whole pot of your favorite caffeinated beverage. Realistically, I know that one silly little YouTube video is not going to convince you to cut caffeine out of your life for good, but cold water really does work just as well if you're using it for its staying awake powers, as opposed to its joy and happiness powers. And it's actually good for you too. So all I'm saying is try it. If it doesn't work, you'll be no worse off than when you started, and you can always guzzle caffeine next if the cold water just isn't cutting it. Oh, and because I love random facts, I thought you also might like to know that you're not even the most sleep deprived animal on the planet. In the wild, giraffes can only sleep for about five to 10 minute intervals for a total of 30 to 40 minutes a day. This is because they're always running away from predators. So that sounds fun. And for the record, they don't drink caffeine at all. Okay, brain, you know what to do. If you'd like to support this channel, don't forget to subscribe and check out my Kofi link below. I also have a blog and Instagram if you'd like to double make sure you never miss a thing. If you're watching this because you're cramming for exams, no judgment, but you might want to check out this other video because there are tons of super useful tips for studying last minute.